Here we have a simple program with multiple INO files that we want to debug. We add a breakpoint to the code with a simple left click in the margin left of the line numbers. Select your board from the list of available boards which is highlighted in purple and is also on the vMicro menu. And then select the correct serial port to upload to your board with. Now you can select the debug option of hardware from the debug list. And then you can select the hardware debugger that you want to use from the pre-configured list. Further information and helpful links will appear in the output window when you select the debugger along with any additional driver software that you might need. In this case we do need that driver software. So once we've installed it and run it, you'll get this window appear. There's no devices available at the moment sadly, so we have to go options and list all devices to show all USB devices on your machine. Now select interface naught of your debugger. Install the driver if it doesn't match, but as you can see here, mine's already been installed. When that's done and the driver version matches, you can just close that software. Also check in the hints about compiler optimization. And you can set this from the drop down list shown in purple. Now check any other hardware jumpers, USB cables, etc. are completed. There's some more information in the links. And upload the code to your board to start debugging. You can also use debug and then attach to process if you've already uploaded the code to your board. And debug, start debugging, will do the upload and start the debugger. Further windows are available once you've started debugging from the debug windows menu. So if you, you haven't got all these available, you can choose them. So now we can see the arrow that highlights the current breakpoint that we're on. And we can add and move, change breakpoints without having to re-upload the code. By just clicking in the margin as before, and then click continue to step to the next breakpoint. Live variables can be seen in the Watch, Locals and Autos windows. And they go red when they've changed since the last breakpoint. Further debugging controls are available on the toolbar as shown here. Allowing us to step into the current call without having to add any more breakpoints. Which lets us work down through the layers of the program. Step over allows us to skip the current call and move to the next one. And step out allows us to return from the current call to the parent, which will let you easily debug your code using the hardware debugger. You can also hover over a variable and highlight it to show the current value. If you highlight an element and right click, you can also add it to the watch window. The call stack window shows all function calls which led to the current line, which you can see here. If you step into a function, the stack gets taller.